Welcome to our demonstration of the XPLM integration between SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional, formerly known as Enterprise PDM, and Arena PLM. We'll be using just a basic development process. Let's have a look at how this integration can support an engineer's daily work. First of all, we will demonstrate the integration architecture on the base of a simple model. After that, we will walk through the demonstration process by showing three different ways to use the integration. Finally, we will provide a summary of the benefits and our contact information will be shown at the very end. This is our example of a simple development process. Let's have a closer look. The engineer creates a new assembly and saves it in PDM Professional. Using the assembly structure and part data, the integration creates material masters and bills of material manually or automatically. The engineer creates a new drawing for the assembly or a part. Usually, a neutral file format will be created automatically and saved in the vault as well. The file for the neutral format will be transferred and linked to the material master. Now, how does the integration become visible for a regular user in his environment? We'll start in SOLIDWORKS with a small speaker assembly. The assembly consists of four parts, magnet, membrane, second speaker and speaker frame. And we've got four different configurations, dual speaker, dual speaker glueable and single speaker glueable. We'll handle them as true product configurations during this demo and they represent the product structure in Arena PLM. To work with the integration, we've got three different options. We work directly from Windows Explorer with an integrated Arena PLM client and click on Update Documents to get a connection to Arena PLM. So now the BOM and document will be updated, variable values are being set and the documents are being checked in. Let's just check and see if all four parts have successfully been checked into Arena by clicking on the specific BOM, XPLM Arena PLM BOM. As we can see, all documents have been created in Arena PLM. If we go into the data card of the whole assembly and each part, we can also see that the Arena PLM document number is mapped to those cards by showing the Arena document ID and Arena document GUID. To prove these uploaded documents twice, We'll jump directly into Arena PLM by clicking on Display Document in the menu. The Bill of Material represents the document structure in the SOLIDWORKS assembly and also in the contained stock in SOLIDWORKS PDMP. This is a one-to-one -one representation of the document structure in PLM or CAD to the document structure in Arena PLM. So documents have been created in Arena PLM successfully. Next, we want to create the BOM from SOLIDWORKS PLM to ARENA PLM by going back into SOLIDWORKS PDM into our document structure. In our speaker assembly, we've got four different configurations with individual numbers of parts. This is important for the product structure in ARENA PLM because each configuration gets a part number in ARENA and also a different BOM. So we click on Update Computed BOM in the menu. Now we can see next to the ARENA document number, the ARENA part number. For every configuration, we've got an individual BOM. After that, we switch into Arena to see that every configuration in SOLIDWORKS corresponds to an individual BOM in Arena PLM, which reflects the product structure.
Another option to work with the integration is to use the Engineering Workflow module. With this option, you don't have to call any function in SOLIDWORKS PLM. Instead, you can use it automatically in the workflow. In the following, you can see two status transitions. The first one is an automatical trigger out of the SOLIDWORKS workflow with the goal of creating documents. The integration is starting automatically without any interaction from the user. In the second status transition, we'll approve the assembly by clicking on Past Approval, and during this approval all of the bombs will be updated to Arena PLM automatically. So now PDMP is triggering our integration and recreates the parts and bombs for each configuration and also updates the part information in Arena PLM. Next, we'll show you the same scenario out of SOLIDWORKS. So we open another assembly from SOLIDWORKS Vault and check in. Here we use the functions from SOLIDWORKS PDMP and click on Submit for Approval, receiving one status transition which creates the documents and bombs. This is very user-friendly for the engineer because you don't have to work with PLM and everything works automatically. Our last demonstration today will show that our integration can map any kind of documents from SOLIDWORKS PLM to ARENA PLM. In the following example, we can show it with a PDF in SOLIDWORKS Vault. Therefore, we use the function update document. In the data card of this PDF, we can already see that the file is mapped to Arena PLM by showing the Arena document ID and Arena document GUID. Then we go back to Arena by clicking on display the document and we can view the PDF directly from Arena. So what are the advantages of an integration between PDM Professional and Arena PLM? The first benefit is the data quality. Data quality is improved by avoiding manual data maintenance in Arena PLM. Existing data is reused in PDMP, either by manual entry, automatically or derived from the CAD model. Workload for engineers is reduced by using automatic data transfer in workflow, for example upon releasing an assembly. Release and change processes are integrated using change management, including version and revision. Furthermore, we've got a minimal TCO. No or minimal training is needed when using automatic data transfer in workflow, as no manual action is necessary. Standard functions can be configured by the customer, for example, new fields for the material master. And lastly, flexibility is increased. The transfer processes, language settings and data customer extensions to extended requirements in .NET, Visual Basic or c -sharp are configured flexibly. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Thank you for watching.